Hello, my friend. This is Shima Shahatru from Infinite Love Coaching Academy. I'm here to wish you a prosperous, beautiful, happy, and healthy 2022. And just would like to seize this opportunity to share with you my thoughts of how can you create a better reality in the new year that is uh, ahead. And most of you um, have asked me during these past uh, few weeks with all our certain uh, events that is happening, how can I trust and how can I have a happy, harmonious life independent of the events that are happening out of me? Okay, so uh, in order to answer this question, I just want to share with you some simple, uh, easy to apply step-by-step -step techniques that I'm using in my personal life and I avoid the external events, um, basically affect my inner peace and happiness. So the first thing is to understand you are living in a duality reality. What do I mean by that? Everything has two sides at the same time, positive and negative. They don't exist without each other. Day and night, sadness and happiness, masculine and feminine, yin and yang, all of them are the same, the both sides of the same coin. For example, if you look at success and failure, they both exist at the same time uh, inside each other. If you consider yourself financially successful, you have sacrificed a lot of other things to get to the place you are, right? Or if you consider yourself a failure, you need to look at all what you have learned during all those time that you spend, and for instance, in a special business or a special career, and all what you have learned and all the journey that you had that is a success at the same time. So if you understand that everything that exists, even if it looks like a curse, but is a blessing at the same time, or vice versa, then you can ask yourself in situations that are very uncertain or that situations that are bringing a lot of anger and anxiety to you, ask yourself, what is the best outcome from this situation? What possibly could get better from this situation? If you just take a moment and think about every bad uh, or negative event that happened into your life, you realize that on the long run, they had positive outcome. So ask yourself how this can get any better. For instance, in the situation that we are living now in, uh, in the world that has been on lockdown for, for a long time, and we have a lot of un uncertainty in front of us, some of you are feeling that you're losing your freedom, some of you are afraid of the virus itself, and everything that is happening right now, ask yourself, what was the positive outcome of, for instance, confinement, instead of being angry of being in lockdown? Ask yourself that question. And when you realize how much you have grown during the time that you have been in confinement, you start to send love, light, and blessing to all the authorities that send, send you in the lockdown instead of having hate inside your heart. Because my dear friend, there is no difference between you that you are aware and awake and are thinking about your body immunity and everything than the other person who is afraid of the virus. Both of you are vibrating in fear. If you are anxious and angry from the authorities, you are vibrating in security and fear. So this is the same. You need to change your vibration. The first question, ask yourself, how can this get any better? Okay, this is the first step. The second step, remember that you are not alone here. 
everything that you see with the physical eye is very, very limited. In fact, what we can see from an atom that is the base of construction of everything that exists in this time-space reality is that 0.00001% of the atom is something that we can see in our labs. And 99.999999% of every atom is something that has been previously considered as empty because we couldn't discover or study it. And in quantum physics, we call them photons. Still, that's a part that is unseen, right? So everything that you see with your visible eye, my dear friend, is not what exists. All the unseen is what exists and what is real. So try to create this bond and this connection with the invisible part of you, with your soul, your higher self, your angels, anything that you would like to call it. Because you haven't been coming here alone and on your own. You have been trained and prepared for the time, this exciting time that we are all sharing on this planet together. This is a super extreme and very exciting time to be here. We all have been trained. Our soul has a purpose to be here at this moment at this time. And we have been preparing ourselves before coming to this planet. You know what I mean, and you can feel it in your heart. If you resonate with it, try to deepen your faith and connect with those invisible hands that have been protecting you all along the life. I love this sentence from Wayne Dyer when he said that every, every piece of grass has its own angels that are whispering into the ear of the grass to grow. And we all have our own angels. We are not alone on this planet. So try to understand who you truly are and tap into your superhuman real power. You are telepathic. You can tel do telekinesis. You can do remote viewing. You can do a lot more than just being on a survival mode. If these words resonate with you, there is a calling in you, so start to work on that. And then the life becomes much more exciting and you're going to claim your power back. Because my dear friend, you're going to play in a complete different level. You're not anymore in survival mode when you start to realize who you truly are what are your true power? I recommend you to watch the movie Superhuman. is a documentary on Gaia. And that can open your eyes more about your true powers. Okay? So, doesn't matter even if you never come across this, even if you don't believe in the unseen, you don't believe in the soul, you don't believe in any of things. doesn't matter. At this step, just trust, trust to whatever fate you have, because without faith, it's so hard to live. And wow, how can I live without faith if I was protected and guided and loved since the moment that my first cell started to divide in my mother womb and I started my long journey of becoming a human being on this planet? So I'm going to review again. The first step was to understand you are living in the duality. The second one is asking how can this get any better? The third is step to, to trust and to have faith. And the fourth one is to become aware of the power of your heart, of the power of your thoughts and the emotions that you are broadcasting through your heart into the global field. Understand the power of your thoughts and your emotions on your own well-being and the power of your thoughts and emotions on the well-being of others. Your heart has electromagnetic field that is mirroring your emotions to the global field, to the electromagnetic field of our planet. You are not separated 
my dear friend. You are all connected. We are all connected. We are part of the same being. And we are sharing the same electromagnetic field. So whatever you feel in your heart is affecting the global well-being and is affecting the vibration of our beautiful planet. If you are having fear-based thoughts, fear-based emotions, you start to have fear-based words and fear-based actions. And all of that is, is influencing your own well-being, your social well-being, and your global well-being. If you would like to dig deeper into the power of your heart, check my website, infinitelove.es. I have an online course on power of heart. You can also visit heartmath.org, uh, where I have studied the intelligence of the heart. And you can go there and they have a lot of beautiful scientific studies showing the power of your heart a very, very important device that you have right in the center of your chest and you can influence the entire world. One small thing to share here, if you want to create a different world, you need to start to create a different you. As Rumi said, yesterday I was clever and I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise and I'm changing myself. By changing yourself, you start to vibrate in a different way. You start to affect the electromagnetic field of our planet. And you start to create and build a beautiful, peaceful planet. Ask yourself this question. How would you like to see yourself in 2022? Not what your fear-based thoughts are telling you 2022 will look like or all insecurities or anger or anxieties that come to you, ask yourself if there was no limitations. If you have a magic wand and you could wave this wand and that magic could happen, how could 2022 be different, not only for you, for the entire world? Just create that beautiful planet in your thoughts. And start to feeling as if that already ha happened. This is the most beautiful contribution you can have to the environment around you. And you can live for the future generation. Start to take control over your own thoughts or your own emotions. Thank you so much. Wishing you a beautiful year ahead. And God bless you all. Namaste.